Good morning, motor cars. Today is July 23rd. I'm Kevin Hudak, and this is the word of the day. On this day in history, 1952, the first gummy bear was created by General Mills chemist Fred McMurray. McMurray was working on a process that water could be stored and deployed to masses that would not require a watertight container. 1967, 100 live chickens were released into a local concert hall in Bonaparte, Mississippi in hopes to cancel the controversial music duo Simon and Garfunkel. In 1984, NYC Police Chief Norman Jackson declares war on graffiti artists and commissions Cleveland native Glenn Danzig to apply the first non-stick polymer coating coined the Silver Bullet to 189 subway cars. The project was such a success that by the end of 1989, Danzig had sold his product license to General Electric for a whopping $68 million. Well, everyone, here we are in the middle of summer. Business is strong, and many of us had record months in June. But with that said, we can't lose sight of our goals. So today, I wanted to talk about planting seeds. Chuck has often said, we are farmers, not hunters, and by planting seeds, we will have a healthy customer base for years to come. Think of planting seeds as educating your customers, not only on the immediate repairs or maintenance, but also on the upcoming ones too. We want our customers to always think of motor cars first when it comes to their vehicles. One of the best ways to do this is to fully utilize the MPI forms in service. These forms not only give the customer a visual of what's going on with their vehicle, but also a chance to discuss their future needs with the ASM. For example, if a customer is only here for a 10,000 mile oil change, look at it as an opportunity to fully explain what will be done on their next visit and the important importance of those procedures. At that time, you can also discuss any upcoming promotions or sales. These are just a few of the ways to keep to plant seeds in our customers' minds. Remember, the goal is to grow a healthy customer base that will continue for years to come. Congratulations to the top Route 66 contenders. Way to go, Eric Morgan and J.D. Tallman. I also wanted to give a shout out to Cindy Gary for bringing me Naughty Bars today. Thank you. Very nice. Okay. Have a great day, motor cars. Take care.